Sport Press. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's another week of lock them, love them, believe them. You know what this is, man. It's your fantasy football help sheet to help you get that W each and every week in your daily fantasy or in your league long fantasy, right? I'm your guru from the Full Sport Press. It's your man, Jeff. You know how this goes. So let's get started. By now, season, you know, a couple of days away, you should probably have had your draft by now. So we're going to move into your week one picks for lock of love and believe. All right, let's get it started. He go to play, he go to locks, your locks, all right? Mike Evans, open up against the Cowboys. Tom Brady, he's TV 12. He's looking for Mike Evans. Mike Evans is a solidified starter. If you drafted him, you got him in a good place. Hopefully, you didn't go too high for him. But now, as far as the week one matchup, Mike Evans has a great matchup. Um, the Dallas Cowboys defense takes a lot of chances in the receiving game. This is a guy you want to lean on. Your second lock, the Titans defense against the Giants. Titans defense coming off of a great year last year. I know they have some injuries in the uh, in the preseason, but right now, starting the week against the Giants, if you got the Titans in your lineup, you should be looking pretty good on the defensive end. And the third lock, Jalen Hurts, man. Jalen Hurts with that new look receiving core going against the Lions. I do believe the Lions are going to be a better team this year. But letting Jalen Hurts have that team, have those weapons on week one against the Lions, if you got Jalen Hurts, if it's daily, daily fantasy, I took a look at that earlier today. He's a little high on daily fantasy right now because, you know, the Jalen Hurts hype machine in fantasy is rolling. But if you were able to draft him, roll him out. Roll him out. All right, let's move on to the three players we love right now. We love these players going into the week. Great value, great matchups. Let's get started. Trey Lance against the Bears. Hey, man, they gave Trey Lance the keys to the car. Trey Lance is ready to roll. He got Debo. He's got the running game. Got a defense to help get the ball back for him against the Bears. I've drafted Trey Lance in a couple leagues. I can't wait to roll him out week one against the Bears. Let's see what he can do. Next. Baker Mayfield. This may be one of the few times I have Baker Mayfield on this list. Not because he isn't a good player. I mean, that's on you how you feel about that. But Baker is in a one of those revenge games, right, against the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland is kind of leaning right now. I mean, they have a great defense. Don't get it wrong. But you know what the situation is in Cleveland, right? Baker's going to have his shots to get the ball back, and Baker's going to want to do his thing. I think Baker puts on a masterful performance, finds DJ Moore a lot, hopefully. And when he does that, Baker's going to have a great performance. And lastly, in our love him section, Rondell Moore versus the Chiefs. And Mikael Harmon, a little bit of two for one right there. Uh, Miko Harmon, excuse me, a little bit of two for one. Listen, man, these two wide receivers are going to have a week one, are going to be in a week one shootout because these, both of these offenses are going to score and score a bunch in this game. You know, defense, I think, you know, the Cardinals defense is going to be solid. Chiefs team is going to be solid as the season goes. But week one, shootout time. You got Patrick Mahomes, you got uh, Kyler Murray at the helm on, on, on their respective teams. Roll out Miko Harmon, roll out Rondell Moore. They're going to get you a touchdown and maybe 88 yards, both each. And that's going to be a solid, solid wide receiver two, wide receiver one play for both of those guys, okay? Thank you. All right, let's move on to the leave them, the leave them section. These are the players we want to just, if you drafted them, you might want to leave them on your bench for this week. All right, we're going to start off with an easy one, Chris Godwin, only because of the injury, injury limits. Um, as of recording this, it hasn't, it hasn't really been said if he's going to have a limited workload or if he's going to be out week one. Um, if you drafted him, you probably got him in a very, very good value. I know I drafted him twice, got him in a very, very good value for the play of his caliber. I'm just a little hesitant to roll him out week one. But in the far season long fantasy, oh man, okay, I, I love it. I love it where I, where I grabbed Chris Gallo. All right, number two, uh, leave him this. Brees Hall. Brees Hall as a rookie is going to be in contention for rookie offensive rookie of the year. We're talking fantasy right now. And he's starting his first game with a little bit of a banged up quarterback last time I checked and against the Ravens defense who's pretty healthy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's unknown how much his, uh, his running mate Michael Carter is going to get the ball as well and he's got to go against Baltimore. Man, I, as much as I like Brees Hall, I think right now I would leave him on the sidelines if he can, just because, right, this is a bad matchup for him. 
And another two for one on your last uh, love, uh, leave them list. <laughs> Here's my thing. I personally believe the New Orleans Saints offense, once it's rolling, is going to be ready to go. I just think right now, they have to find their footing. And if you drafted Chris Olave, or Olave, excuse me, and, or if you drafted Michael Thomas, it's still too much of an unknown. Or even Jarvis Landry at this point. Because in, in deeper leagues, I know you probably drafted Jarvis Landry, Jarvis Landry in deeper leagues. I personally, if I if I have a New Orleans Saint week one, it's going to be Alvin Kamara. He's going, he's rolling out there because that's a certified, no matter what, that's a start of every week type of player. But at wide receiver for the Saints, I'm leaning away from that to get going just because they got to figure out the rhythm. You know, preseason is what preseason is. And they've all looked good who've played, but it's just a little bit of an unknown. And right now, you want to get your fantasy league league season off to a great start. And if you're doing daily fantasy, there's so many other options. There's so many because the wide receiver position is so deep in the NFL this year. There's so many other options that you can get at a better value for your, for your points and for your money as far as daily fantasy. All right? So that is week one, locker. Love them and leave them. As always, man, like and subscribe on the YouTube. Leave us comments. Talk to me. How do you feel? I'm, I'm getting great feedback on this. Uh, you guys seem to like the fantasy uh, updates. A lot of fantasy football players watch the show. So, as always, tell a friend to tell a friend about their Full Score Press. Reach out to us on social media at fullscorepress.com. It's your man, Jeff. We are out. The revolution will be podcasted.